What's happening people? I am out and about again today and I've, if you watched yesterday's video you will know that I am down here in London. I'm in the big smoke and there's only one place to start the day when you're in London and that is the best cafe in London according to most. For the best full English breakfast in London according to most. The big boys have been here, your Gary Eats, your Mac Masters, your food review clubs, the big boys in the food game, they've all been here and they've all give it rave reviews. So now it's the Yorkshireman's turn. It's my turn. I'm going to E. Paliches on Bethnal Green Road. I'm about five minutes away now, um, so we're not going to mess about because it's starting to rain, and as you know, my new camera's not waterproof. So we're going to get straight over to Bethnal Green Road. I'm just around the corner, probably, like I say, five minutes. I'm going to get myself a nice, full English breakfast, and let me be the judge to see if it's the best one that I've ever had. Will it be? I'm not so sure. We've got some pretty good full breakfast up in Yorkshire. Okay, so we have made it. There it is. E for leeches. So I'm going to go in there, order myself a full breakfast, uh, try find a nice seat. I don't know if they have music playing. I'm not sure. I've never been in before. So um, we're going to see what's what. Um, I'll order myself a breakfast and then I'll bring you guys back when the breakfast has arrived. And while I go order my breakfast, you guys just uh, listen to today's video sponsor. So today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. It's my favourite day of the week, delivery day. Um, they are sponsoring today's video. If you don't know what HelloFresh are, they are a company that delivers fresh food to your door in exactly the right amounts that you need. We've been a customer uh, and they've been a long time supporter of the channel for about 18 months. Um, I'm not gonna show you what's in this one because I might even I might even cook you something over the weekend but um, from there because I've got some interesting things that I've never done before and that's what I like about HelloFresh. They've got so many recipes and things. Look at all these. I mean, like I said, we keep the recipe cards. Well, they're called recipe cards, but I call them idiot guides. We keep them and then you can you can go at them again in the future. You can you find out what you like and all sorts of things like that and it's it's really good. If you guys want to try HelloFresh, you can scan this QR code with your phone if you're watching on your television um, and that will get you a deal where you get 60% off your first box, 20% off your next two months worth of boxes and free gifts. Mrs. Dino's already opened this box to see the free gifts and they are them GU pots again, so she's happy. They've got plenty in the in the fridge there to eat, to go out the girls. Um, that's their favorite part. If you're not tech savvy, I'll be honest, I'm not, and you don't really know how to use QR codes, um, or you're watching on your phone, you can use the code Dino, I've got a duck there, because I'm a bit high. Got to use the code Dino24 um, at HelloFresh website and the checkout. Um, and you'll get that same deal, or you can use the link in the description and the pinned comment. Now, you can also, if you want to, if you're just interested in what menus and re recipes and things we've got, because obviously we've got all these, the, all these recipes, what's coming up in the weeks, are available on their website, so you can go and check out if, they, if, it, if it tickles your fancy. If you have tried HelloFresh in the past and you've cancelled over the last 12, uh, over 12 months ago, you can also get this deal. So don't forget, it's not just open to new customers. If you are a previous customer, you can get this deal if you've got it again. If you've been watching my channel for a year, a similar deal would have happened a year ago. You can get it again. So don't rule yourself out just yet. Really good deal. Thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Get your words out, Dino. And uh, yeah, I'm going to put this away. I'll send you back to Dino in London, baby.
So I went for the have the lot meat. Cumberland sausage, egg, two bacon, hash brown, black pudding, beans, tomatoes, mushroom, and a choice of fried bread or toast. I went for fried bread, £16.40, and I also added bubble for £2.20. So here we go, have the lot breakfast. Now, the reason I'm having to do a voiceover is because I couldn't even get inside and this is 40 minutes after they opened at 8 o'clock in the morning. As always, we're going to start with the sausage. This is a Cumberland sausage. Um, let me tell you, it looks like it has a really nice snap and it certainly does. The, the outer coat in the skin, really nice. Inside, visually, I'll be honest, it didn't look like it was going to be an exceptional sausage. However, once I tasted it, I realised that this was going to be a special breakfast. That sausage, exploding with flavour. Look at all these mushrooms. You guys know that I love my mushrooms. These are button mushrooms, halved, really nicely fried, juicy, earthy, really, really delicious. Onto the hash brown. You know that I like my hash browns crispy on the outside, fluffy on the inside with a nice onion flavour, and that's exactly what these delivered absolutely fantastic hash browns but i believe we're going for the tomatoes next because let me tell you now these are single-handedly the best tomatoes fresh tomatoes well no any tomatoes any tomatoes i've ever had on a breakfast in any cafe anywhere if you want a lesson on how to cook fresh tomatoes for a breakfast this is it do not worry about overcooking the front because it gets cooked all the way through and it's absolutely fantastic. Beans, you get plenty of them. You know me, guys. Beans are beans. I'm not the biggest fan of baked beans, but these were as nice as any others. Black pudding. Now, this is a... Some people don't like black pudding. It's a bit of a love or hate sort of relationship with black pudding. I like it. Um, I like white pudding as well, you guys will know. But on this full English fry up, the black pudding was really nice. Now I can be really fussy with bacon, but look at this. That is exactly how you want your bacon cooked. Or me, that's exactly how I want my bacon cooked. It was nice, thick, back bacon, well cooked, but not burnt. Really, really tasty. This cost £2.20 to add on. Would I add it on again? Probably not, but that's just because it's like fried potato and vegetables. Up north, bubble and squeak is like leftovers. Uh, but down south, they have it with the breakfast. I can take it or leave it. It's not so bad. Fried bread, really nice, not greasy. And when I say greasy, I know that it's been fried. However, I like my fried bread crispy. Look at that egg. It looked a little bit underdone, but it absolutely wasn't. Cooked to perfection. But I have to say, the star of the show for me was that tomato. Unbelievable. That's exactly how you wanted to do it. Right. Wow. Now, I'm going to have to just do a little voiceover for that video because I couldn't even get in the joint. It was absolutely rammed. Absolutely rammed in there. There was people everywhere. Could not believe it. I had to sit outside, basically. It was under... It was under, um, like, a, a tarpaulin, sort of, like a tent. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> you guys will probably tell me in the comments. But let me tell you, wow, that's the best breakfast I've ever had. I'll be honest. Now, it's so busy because it's so popular because it's kind of like a tourist spot. I was talking to a couple of guys in there and they said that it's because the craze used to go there. So everyone goes there. There were a lot of tourists in there, um, a lot of suitcases and yeah. Lot, but let me tell you. I'm going to do the voiceover. I've made some notes for the uh, for, so I can do the voiceover. I haven't obviously I've done the voiceover yet, but oh my days! What a start to the London trip! The best breakfast I've ever had. Never mind in London, in Yorkshire, absolutely worlds apart. Now a year ago when I came down, I went to Sam's on Bethnal Green Road, which is just up the road, and I'll be honest, it was okay. But compared to that, 
it was it was nothing that is a 10 out of 10 i just don't know how you can get better than that those tomatoes that is how you do a fresh tomato let me tell you that is how you do a fresh tomato the sausages was unbelievable proper butchers cumberland sausage absolutely fantastic just by this park here and the squirrels running at me Unbelievable. I can, hello? Yes, Paliches. It's official. I agree. It's the best cafe in London. It's the best breakfast I've ever had in my entire life. 40 years on this planet, and that is the best. I can't rate it highly enough. Um, I couldn't even finish it. There was absolutely loads there. Um, I did go for the big one. It cost me 20 quid, which... Coming from up north, it's expensive, that. But, you know what? You could get that to share. It were worth it, that. It was £16.45, I believe. I can't remember off the top of my head. You guys will have seen the, the breakfast part of the menu. I just... I'm speechless. I really am speechless. The, uh... Yeah. I don't know what else to say. Honestly. Best I've ever had. Thanks for watching this video. If you're ever in London, I strongly, strongly advise you to come to Paliches. Get here early. It's, it's absolutely packed out. I got here at half past eight in the morning. It only opens at eight o'clock. And I couldn't even get inside. Unbelievable. Right, okay. On to the next one. So, I'll catch you tomorrow. We'll still be in London. We're off for pie and mash. See you then. <laughs>